and know that this side is the same as that, but each of these pieces has got new growth and little aberrant off. So if, you, if nobody's noticed that, I, a lot of people actually didn't notice it at the opening. Um, and again, taking the propagation capabilities and the, the climate and geographical locations of things and, and having being, being at, at, at odds of survival. Let's see. Um, oh, and the, that was the, the other idea of it being a copy and it's something that's, that's in existence is, is can you actually control? You think that you can do this low-tech, old-fashioned, again, playing with the idea of the time frame of what, what, what was known or what, how that was used. I mean, most people were surprised that I was able to find carbon paper in the first place, but it's easily acquired at Home Depot, I mean, Office Depot. Um, but it's, it, are, it, if you think you've done a good copy, you can't, can you actually control that copy? And the pieces are sort of questioning that ability to control. How did you actually do these? Is the carbon from the original drawing, or you did two different drawings? Because you, you, you added to this, this one later. Um, I'm telling the secret. I mean, this basically, the, the base plan is what I call it, is the actual drawing yeah, here. And then you add it. And then I had a, another way of adding these, the, the outgrowth and the new growth. So. And then, what's the, any questions about the oh, no. I like how it makes me think of the history of using, depicting flora historically through printmaking processes, especially wood engraving and Edging and engraving, and what's funny is, is like Durer, his famous woodcut of the of the rhinoceros. He'd never seen a rhinoceros. He invented it. it was all a fantasy, and it's a cool looking print. But that's not what a rhinoceros really looks right. like. So a lot of that, those were fictitious representations of New World and you know tropical species. Do you know though? That's another um, in doing research about about botanicals and history. They would actually, people would just do copies of the better known stuff, and so we had that sort of slight shift in accuracy because they were doing what was a very primitive drawing in the first place, but then their drawing may have been even more primitive, which just took it away from less right. and less mm -hmm. accurate capability of identifying like yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. So. And then, um, let's see, this is, the last statement, I'm going to read it again. Another unifying theme of this show is beauty. I'm trying to depict what, what are essentially mutants of our own possible creation in gorgeous and seductive ways. Look at what we can do. Um, uh, for the sake of doing it because we can do it. Becoming smitten with that idea can be dangerous. One, when you don't think of the ripple effect and consequences. Can we control the outcome of these new creatures that we have put out into the world any better than Dr. Frankenstein did his creation. So. That's it.